Hey there guys, it's Jesse, and today I'm going to show you all the stuff you didn't get to see the first time in my Rift questions answered video, and some of the cool things that happened in Beta Phase 5. Now what you're looking at here is the often requested, something I missed out last time but had footage for, uh, these are some of the many different skills and uh, I guess you'd call them trade skills that you can learn. You see there's a... Uh, Butchers and artificiers and outfitters and rune crafters and then there's Weapon smithing and there's all sorts of different things you can choose from trust and believe there's a lot here uh, and I've already picked mine. I went weapon smithing and mining and I think foraging is what I went so yeah, there you go. That's just a few of the things you can choose from Hopefully that answers your questions about if there are trade skills in this game. The next thing is sort of a two-for-one quest kind of fun bit here. You see, you're sent to go capture little fell evil squirrels, as you can see right here. They uh, crack me up with their burning eyes. But, something that really impressed me about this game, if I can never get this stupid thing to work here. Uh, or the tree could go into the shot, classy. Uh, huh. Anyway, the point is that when... Uh, or I could miss it, you know, whatever. The point is that when you throw your net, you immediately capture whatever it is you're going after. You don't have to pick it up off the ground. The next thing that I love is this. I'm getting one of these for the zombie apocalypse. I'm telling you right now, this thing is freaking awesome. Pew 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 pew. Killing dead things. Oh yeah. The next little tidbit here, just watch. You notice two sets of mobs are fighting each other there? Apparently, the Rift mobs don't like the world mobs, and so they actually fight each other, which is very cool. That's kind of a different twist. So they aren't just all ganging up on you. So if I had the cojones, I could have jumped in there and fought those guys. But check this out. This is a three-way fight. You have guardian NPCs who have invaded the area, you have rift guys who have invaded the area, and then you have the townspeople and player characters all fighting together. And so, you, you, you see that we're fighting off the Guardian here, but in the background, over here, you see off on the left-hand corner, there's a, uh, a Guardian and a Rift Stalker guy fighting, or an Iron Fortress Knight, I guess. And so, I mean, this is crazy. I love stuff like this. I think this is a great addition to the game. Um, I like how the quest giver's kicking ass over there, and then some more Rift guys come over. That's very cool. I like how they did that. The next little tidbit is one of my favorite things in this game. Oh, artifacts. You make my day so joyous. Uh, for those of you who can't see the little sparkly thing in there, that is an artifact. And they're just random little sparklies on the ground that you can collect. This boat happens to have two, so I lucked out. And uh, what you do is you can um, put them into your collections, as you see here. And eventually when you complete the collection, you go back to Meridian, the big town in this zone. And you turn it in for loot and gear and items and... I love it so, and uh, it's a little fun addition to the game that makes every day a, a treasure hunt, we'll say. Oh, check this out, I love this town. In this town, the, the humans here are actually little evil water demon people, and um, it's kind of funny, because check this out, this is what they say to you when you're in the town that just cracks me up. Greetings, fellow air breather. I think that's hilarious. Uh, the other one says... It has been another fine day to be above land, has it not? I just think that's funny. This town is awesome. I love the fact that when you get here, it's burning to the ground, and, and the undead have taken it over, and it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm rocking on medium settings, as you guys know, but uh, just take a look. Even on medium, it looks really cool. So I can only imagine what Ultra would look like in this game, but uh, I'm impressed. Just give you another look at this burning downtown. For some reason, I really like this place. I must have spent a, a, a great deal of time here. It just, uh, there's so much going on. You can see in the background, the guy's burning down the buildings and stuff. It's very cool. Uh, go into this little inn here. And uh, I like the way this inn looks. It has a very Diablo 2 feel to it. I like that. Another one of the major requests I've had is people have been like, show us how to get new souls! So I just beat a rift and got a planar shard, I believe is what it's called. So now you can summon one of the different souls that uh, your class can get. For example, right now I'm fighting a marksman. And so once I defeat her, I'll gain access to the marksman spec that I can choose from in my various uh, 
specking choices. So sucker soul there. And then I take it back to town. Once back in town, I go over here to the marksman lady, turn in the quest, bada bing, bada boom. I now have the access to the marksman spec. And I can pretty much change into that whenever I please. Now you can see I've done pretty much all of them except for one. So I'm gonna go over here to the last one just to show you. And this is the saboteur. Pretty much the same thing. Go fight at a rift, get the plane shard. There you go. They see me rolling an elk in a mountain. They're trying to catch me riding dirty. Try to catch me riding dirty. Try to catch me riding dirty. Oh, wait, they caught me. That was one of the mounts, by the way, so yeah. Enjoy. And I'm a trolling, I'm a trolling, I'm a trolling, I'm a trolling. Walk it out, and I'm a trolling, 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 I'm a trolling. This is actually what I think forum trolls look like in real life. I'm a trolling, I'm a trolling, I'm a trolling, I'm a. The next little scenery bit here is from the second zone. This is like a dead titan, and it's a skeleton back there. Very cool. If I had to say I had one problem with this, while this zone's very nice looking. It is the most annoying zone in the history of zones ever. Please, Rift, if you're listening, change this. That little area right there with the skeleton and whatnot, I had to go back and quest at the exact same place three different times for three different groups of quests from the exact same people. Like, just give me all the quests at once. Don't do that where I have to go back over and over and over again. WoW used to do that and it pissed me off then. Don't do this to me now. With that said, the inside of this skull here has one of the greatest achievements ever in any game. Uh, I'm gonna try and sneak in here and get this for you. Just so you can see. It's freaking hilarious and amazing and um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. It takes about 25 minutes apparently. Come on, achievement. And go. Yep, I got an achievement for stealing stuff from uh, actual good guys. <laughs> Apparently you can steal stuff from people. I did not know that. If that's something they're gonna implement, that's awesome. The next clip here is the major uh, fight you have as a uh, solo player outside of any dungeons in the very first zone. Very cool, it's against like the major bad guy of this zone. And as you can see, while you fight him, little things, I'm not even sure what they are, appear around him. And as the fight progresses, more and more appear. Uh, and they do damage to you, but I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna kill the boss, because, you know, that's how I rolls. And, uh, this was actually a pretty challenging fight. Uh, there's number two, see? The next major boss fight I managed to capture on film was this guy, Thingar, in the stone field, the second zone. And, as you can see, with overworld boss fights, you don't just go in and tank and spank the guy. You actually have to, like, use strategy and move. This guy hammers the ground, and you have to get out of the way of that or it kills you. They made these overworld fights against named mobs actually challenging and require you to have some skill rather than just be like, oh, it's named slash slash dead. And finally, here I am in the stone fields in the second major town. There's the, the portal system back there, as you can see. But apparently there is a um, massive invasion of Earth Rifts, and so we have to go and stop them. And so this is the perfect time to show you an Earth Rift, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now you can see on the map here, this zone is really small compared to the last one, which was huge. Which I think is why they make you quest in the same places over and over and over again, although I do not like that. And that if I had to have a big complaint this time around in Phase 5, it would be that. I am kind of pissed that they do that because I don't like that at all. It feels kind of like they ran out of questing ideas. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But this is an Earth Rift, as you can see here. And little Earth guys are in it and they come out and, um, yeah. Watch how quickly I get my ass kicked here. <laughs> I did not expect this to happen at all. I was like, oh, yeah, this will be just like the other ones. A and apparently they have increased strength and endurance, so, uh... Yeah, about this time is when I'm like, oh, run! Put up my shield and I, I try to get out of the way, use my uh, rift jump ability there, my blink. Nothing. I'm like, maybe he'll leave me alone? No? Uh, oh, oh. I like how this one guy's trying to help me, though. Come on! Yeah, so I died. That's how we'll end this video. Sounds about right. So, uh, that's it, guys. That's uh, Beta Phase 5. 
Let me know what you thought of it if you were in it. Let me know any other questions you have. And uh, be sure, as always, to thumbs up, subscribe, do all that junk. And to be continued.